almost exactly like Kurt Cobain sounded. Uh, I think it was on the Unplugged album <laughs> before the very end. <laughs> Just fucking do it. I, I forget what song it was before, but you know, whatever. But uh, welcome to the show, a show. It's the show. I said something on Twitter. I'm like, I'm you know, we do this all the time, and we've done this for five years. But I never watch other gaming talk shows on Twitch. And I was like, I'm going to check out and see what other people are doing. Like, yeah, maybe. and that's what that's a pretty bad sign, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you wouldn't watch it, what you do, then. <laughs> oh, I watch our show, you know, because it's good times. It's like, watch the. It's kind of like having the flashbacks in a sitcom where you're like, oh, I remember that time. Stock um, up on ammo for like smart ass tweets to me. <laughs> But and I was that's watching, the only reason you watch it. I checked out some other ones, and it was like, I'll check this one, this one, and this one. And I watched them for about a minute each, and I'm like, yep, I feel a lot more secure in what we're doing. Um, <laughs> so. Really? Because uh, <laughs> after all this time, I, my confidence is shot. shot yeah. I have no faith in my abilities. So a um, way to start out the show by putting every other show out there down, but... That's not. <laughs> <laughs> but you should just stop yeah. now and leave. Let us be the only ones. But uh, yeah, so um, another. Speaking week, of Twitch, know? like Twitter, we we bitched about Twitch advertisements, mm -hmm. but now they have those fucking annoying, like that. They went away for a while for me, but now they're back. Those fucking like truth, like anti smoking dot org. Yeah, and it's and now they're like trying to combat hookah. Smoking and I'm is like, is that on the rise? Cause no, it's fucking <laughs> not. It's always been like the same fucking college crowd who like they like the novelty of it. Well, um, rarely is it tobacco that's being used anyway. It's not. Yeah. It, you know, it's I I have had friends way more knowledgeable knowledgeable about this shit than me. But from what I've always gathered, it was always a mixture of shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, heroin, opium, meth, all at once. And you've got nah. the sitar playing in the background. I can't make a sitar sound, but... Yeah, and they're just like, you smoke that for fucking some absurd, like, 60 minutes? That's like smoking 100 cigarettes. Uh, like, uh, they don't care. They, they've well, never cared. People don't care. I like about truth.org. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm perfectly fine with that. Smoking is not a very good habit to have. Um, but they're called truth.org, and then they'll be like, truth.org, if you smoke a cigarette, an alien will rape you. It's like, wait. I don't <laughs> this think... is the fat cats at tobacco and with <laughs> all the money. It's like they, they're getting their money from the, the same people who have always smoked. You know, they get their money from, like, my dad, who's – you know, been on off and on smoker for fucking 50 years or some shit. You know, it's like they, they act like don't give them any more money. We got to stop teenage smoking. It's like, did that work the last fucking three generations? Like people fucking people like smoking more than they like living. <laughs> right. That's the, that's, that's the problem. Those people are like, oh, it'll kill me. Well, that's great. That's kind of. Half the reason That's kind I'm of the point. <laughs> Man, I have fucking homework. This shit sucks. I need, I need a pack of Marbs. Um, but yeah, but the problem with these commercials, like I, they're they're pointless anyway, because I don't think they're effective. But like it's the obnoxious like current truth commercial. Before it, like they would like this is a fucking dying lung and they'd slap it on a table or some shit um now it's like they fucking blast dubstep at you and just throw like <laughs> it's that same advertising thing like here's a dancing penguin and isn't smoking bullshit like fucking dude you're and, it, and because it's twitch like Twi like Twitch needs to find a way to like either do silent advertisements or find a way to balance that fucking audio out with whatever oh, stream yeah, you're that's watching. Because it's like, oh yeah, here we go. We're about to attack the box. Don't smoke! And you're like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's totally like that. Like, because I mean, you know, Twitch ad, uh, Twitch audio stuff is never, never ideal. You're always like having to adjust your speakers because you're probably like me, and it's. You, you kind of mumble and the game audio might be too loud over right. you and shit. And so you're trying to adjust for that and then you get blah, 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 blah. 
you know, you can't fucking you can't do that, Twitch. You got to be smarter. Um, I just have to figure out how to install Adblocker on my tablet because I'm sure you can. I think it's just a Chrome extension, but because uh, when I watch on on my PC, I I am one of those terrible, awful people that uses Adblocker. I was driven to it after years of resisting, um, mm-hmm. but that then the, those that stuff doesn't pop up. But you know, what? you may it's a, if you you take part in the advertising system, it's your fault. Adblock is completely your fault because you made advertising completely unbearable. Well, well right, um, and that's the th- and I get it. There's sites that like if, if it I were was like better, I would add like sites that don't abuse it or sites that I like to the white list. And there are some yeah. I have on it, but I, the final straw was like you, you can't go to any website now. It doesn't matter if it's a major media outlet or a small blog without like oh hold on for an hour and a half while we load thirteen separate like Adobe Flash ads that all play sound right um, and i and i and now we live in a time where there is an alternative business model that works for a lot of people where it's like you can do the advertising thing or you know like giant bomb you have advertising as like the free option or you can be a paid member and you get exclusive videos and you don't get ads on anything and that's like it because they make content that i keep coming back to I don't have a problem, you know, paying so and so a year, and fucking not having to deal with, you know, bullshit like Truth dot fucking org ads. I don't even know if they're Truth dot org anymore. It might just be Truth, I the artist for, because, formerly known as Truth. I, I was curious too, because it just it, it hit struck me when you're like those fat cat tobacco companies. Look how much money they're making off of you. Um, Truth. Uh, it's the Truth Initiative Foundation. It's the name of the nonprofit, but uh, their gross annual receipts for last year were two hundred and three million dollars. So, um, they're fat cats too. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and why are they called Truth? Like Truth to me is like, let's raise scientific awareness or something, or you know, like something for NASA or some shit, like. It's not. There's no swindle to tobacco. The deal is very clear. Like you smoke these, and if fucking we get your money, and you get fucking sick later, like you might get sick immediately because it's, you're inhaling goddamn smoke. You fucking moron. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm still distracted by this. The prior year, their net assets were listed at over a billion dollars. Yeah. You could just buy, like, all the fucking cigarettes in existence and keep them away from people <laughs> for that money. So. Uh, like, and that's what – I'm no financial expert, and I'm not breaking – I was just kind of skimming through here. Salaries paid to, to employees were, like, $19 million last year. But it's just funny uh, to me, all these nonprofits, and they're acting like they're in it for the good of mankind. And, well, yeah. they're also well, making Well, the tobacco's company's getting of this. We're getting – the same, you know. It's but in fairness, they're not giving us lung and mouth cancer. But uh, it's not about what like they're giving. Like it's not like that's my point. Is like we all know what the fucking deal is. <laughs> it's well, not us getting this. We're, we, you know, we're nobody's getting, getting fucking the same. Here. You know, you know. At this point, fairness, like literally, their product has to cancer, say. But uh, we're going to fucking. It's not about what like they're uh-huh. giving. Like it's not like you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so that's my like, point is like we all know truth. what the Here's fucking the deal is. about smoke. It's it's not us getting this. Everyone you know, knows. Everybody's getting fucking, fucking the same. Here. Even you know, though, you know, at this point, like, literally, literally their product has to say. But you know, uh, we're going to fucking. It's not about what like they're giving. Like it's not like you know. That's my point is like we all know what the fucking deal. Sorry, I'm laughing over it, and I couldn't hear anything you said because Twitch just fucking spazzed and started playing the stream, even though it wasn't open anywhere. So, any everybody except you, everybody in the world, anybody listening, and me, and we're getting like eight different of just the two of us talking at the same time. Like it was like we were tripping or something. Like that was terrible. And I'm like, because oh, because of our hookah, yeah. man. Anyway, <laughs> I finally killed it, but that was funny. Fucking and professional I for that. show. And yeah. what was funny is the longer it went on, then it would pick up the stream, picking up the stream. It was like the mirror in a hallway thing. Like, I if I, if it had gone on just a little bit longer, I would have been over here having like a seizure, and you would have had no idea what was going on. But 
No, nah, but it, but it's me talking to myself. I'm used to that. We're we're back um, back to earth. All right. Uh, yeah, it was probably truth hacking us. I think it was. They're like fuckers. You're giving everybody our secrets about all the money we make. Um. <laughs> so some, I, I think I fucked up my eyesight um, playing Fury because uh, <laughs> I went I went back to that game after like it, it was a PS Plus freebie a couple of months ago, um, and I went back to it. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure why. I, I guess I just thought I needed to put some real time into it since we're getting near the end of the year. Um, and it's a great game. I, I, I don't know if it was because they updated, like they patched some of the control problems or, um, I'm just better prepared for it now. But, uh, that game is really fucking slick. It's really hard, but it's, uh, really satisfying. Probably the most satisfied I've been beating any game this year. Um, but I felt like in order to play it, I had to sit uncomfortably close to my TV. <laughs> um, so to like see the, like a big part of the game is like it, when it goes to its melee system, like parrying is huge and you have to be able to parry all the bosses attacks and you only have this small circle flash, uh, to let you know, to hit the button. Um, so my eye has not stopped twitching <laughs> Sends like it took me about it took me a couple days to beat the game. See, it's not a long game. Overwatch does that to me after if I've been at you know the office a long day at the office and then come here and watch TV or something and play Overwatch. It's like eventually yeah. your eyes are just like fuck you. Yeah, and I've been playing a lot of Overwatch too. Yeah. So um, there's that. But yeah, Fury. I, I I'm really surprised like how they managed to make a game that's only boss fights. Um, and between the boss fights, like you can just hit the X button and your character will walk to the next arena while sort of the story kind of unfolds a little bit more. Um, and, and then like to make that concept feel like, like it, it feels like a full game. Like I was really impressed by because the bosses are so divided in their phases and so different. And when you lose, you have to go back and do it all fucking over again. Uh, did I mention the game is hard? Um, <laughs> so that's always fun. Yeah, I, I mean, well, you get like three shots. Like you get three life bars, and when you defeat one, like one chunk of the enemy's life bar, yours refills, and you get like a you get an extra life bar back. Um, but if you lose a life bar, their current life bar they're on refills, and if you lose all three, you have to start the fight from the very beginning. Um, so, so it, it really you have to learn each phase. Like, you, there's no way you're going to just like get it all first try. Like, you know, like I got that on a couple of boss fights, but most of them it's like, fuck, I got him like right to like the second to last health bar, and then I died, and so now I have to go back and like. You like you get amazed at yourself for like the patterns you learn and like wow I can't believe I'm doing this shit consistently consistently it's it's a really fun game um, something tells me I wouldn't like make it to that point I would just be like three tries and I'd be like fuck this game I'm done <laughs> yeah I, I mean it's not for the faint of heart but if, if you like that challenge. Um, and I mean, especially if you were a PS Plus member that month, you, like you got it for free. Yeah. Like I think it's twenty bucks now. When, when um, you fail, is it good about like getting you right back into it? it or? Like, like if you game over, it's obviously it rewinds to the beginning of the fight. You know, it's a you restart. Um, but if like you lose your health bar or whatever, like it's literally like a like a small animation of like your character like sort of you know kicks back up and the boss sort of taunts you with something real quick but it's like once you're in the combat like everything is really fast everything's really snappy it's just sort of the like in between part where um like between the boss fights like i didn't know you could just hit the x button and your character will walk on the set path like there's no exploring really um but they give you the option for some reason to like actually control your character, um, which is really awkward because it's kind of like tank controls and there's nothing like your character moves really slowly in those parts because it's trying to explain the dialogue to you and shit. Um, 
But when I figured out you could just hit X, I ended up liking that aspect of it a little bit more because it's like, well, I can actually pay attention to what the characters are saying. I don't yeah, have to – like, like I'm not – right. stop my guy from walking into a wall repeatedly. Um, and then you, you know, pop out to the next fight. And some of the fights, like, they're really fucking cool. Um, like the, the hardest one I had, uh, probably the hardest one – is the second to last like real boss fight of the game and it's just a samurai duel um and your character like like the samurai the like one, halfway through the fight he puts his sword away and like he picks up a fucking bow door and he fights you with that <laughs> <laughs> just to like rub it in it, it's it, like he's not the most intimidating um, cause he only has like four health bars and some of them, some of the bosses have like six, but he does so much fucking damage to you that, and it, it, he was like that, that fight kind of defines the game of like, I can't believe I'm like getting these early parts down consistently and getting to the final phase, which is still ruining my shit. Um, so it's a game like you, you feel that progression. Like you feel like I'm understanding these concepts better. I'm getting better as a player. Um, and then the ending kind of pisses all over it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was having fun watching. The, well, I guess it wasn't like a full Twitter meltdown, but you seemed very frustrated. Well, I, I, I had frustra- I was frustrated with it, and then I went to dinner, and then I came back and beat it. Um, but one part of the game is kind of a bullet hell, like shoot 'em up, uh, sort of you know top down Ikaruga sort of aspect. Like the camera will zoom out, and you always have a pistol on you. Um, and there's an aspect of that and it's a lot of bullet shooting, dodging, deflecting. Um, and like the game does a good job sort of dividing that. So like a lot of fights typically start with you sort of at a range and you're dodging their shots and you're shooting them and then the enemy will come close and that's when you get the more precise melee parry and stuff. And it's, it's a really slick, uh, mashup of these you know, two concepts. But then the final boss, like, you don't have to... This is kind of the secret final boss, but if you want the real ending, you're going to fight this boss. Um, it just goes into, like, the shooter stuff. And it's it's that, like, impossible fucking... Not impossible, because obviously I beat it, but it's, it's that fucking annoying, like, mostly dodging and painstakingly chipping away at their health and... Um, just dodging these bullet hell patterns and not doing the part of the combat that I thought was its strongest part, which was making you feel like this badass with a goddamn electricity sword. Um, so I, I hope that that's like your character's actual name, like badass with electricity sword. I mean, they don't tell you his name until the very end. That's what I went with. Um, it, so it, like it sucked that that entire fight was that. But that being said, you know the feeling you get when you beat it is really, it's, there's nothing that came close to it this year. Um, But at no point does the game let it know it's grading you until you beat that boss. And then it's like, hey, it took you a long fucking time, D. Like, it just slaps you with a D grade. Like, at no point where, like, I wasn't aware I was being scored here. Like, you fucking assholes. Um, and how the fuck does anyone get a good grade on this, their first playthrough? It's well, see, that's, but that's, what's so hilarious to me is like, you took it personally. Like it, it really doesn't matter. Cause at that point you got through the fight. It wasn't like, of course I took it personally. Like you imagine you fucking did something you're really proud of. And then somebody's like, it's shit. That's every and time. It's like, I, I didn't know you were about, even watching asshole. Yeah. Let's say that you just described every time I tweet something on Twitter that I'm proud of. And then you respond. It's like D. D. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's, how would you feel if I came in and graded you every time you played a game? Because <laughs> that's what it's like. Um, well, I'm but glad it, it does it because that's exactly what I do to you when I watch you stream games. So I'm, I'm glad the game's doing my job for me. Yeah. You, you, but you don't watch my streams very often. No, because you never, stream you're at like never around. three in the morning my time, yeah. Well, I, I, hey, I was... On Mega Man's birthday, I was streaming, and I and you didn't show up. I was at a reasonable hour. 
Yeah. I was like, it would have been like 8 p.m. your time. Yeah, that's unreasonable. It's all. You're just not around. I know. You're not, I'm not. You're I'm, never. I'm, I'm, I'm you're never a, like, there for jet setter. You're never there for Mega Man. Whatever. No, Mega Man sucks. I don't know what you yeah. see in Mega Man. Uh, you know, just because. Yeah, you shouldn't speak ill of the dead. First of all, <laughs> that's, oh. that's true. <laughs> Second of all, Mega Man's amazing. Which were you playing the Legacy Collection or? Yeah, I, I mean, I just like I've decided like something I'll do here and there is just play Mega Man games on my stream. Uh, like the last one, I did the first three because I had a lot of time on my hands. Uh, and then, like, I realized, like, immediately it was Mega Man's birthday, I think 29th, 30th, something like that. Um, and I just, in that, that moment, I'm like, well, fuck, I should stream a Mega Man game. So I played four. Um, I can't believe that you had, that was something you had to, like, realize, and it's not marked on your calendars. Well, fuck, I, you know, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I thought it was a good opportunity to stream something because, you know, like, I'm, I'm not consistent about streaming, but I think I'm getting better. I'm being a little more regular about it. Um, but, you know, I have to make excuses for myself to do it. I'm glad you got yourself regular with it. Yeah, yeah, it's good to be regular. It's a good but. thing. Yeah, so there, I, I, it it was weird. Like that's one game that I'm not like. I've never been into Mega Man. I've played a few. Like I don't think I've ever beaten any of them. Um, oh, but, that'll be a future video feature. Is no, no. I, yes, I will. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to take you through it. <laughs> uh, what one? There was one that I got to. Um, the castle, like the where it, it turns into basically just a gauntlet of every boss and then the fi final boss was a dragon like a robot dragon or something I, th I don't know if that was even the final no, boss, that was that was a uh, Mega Man 2, 2 and that's here. the first boss in the Wily levels so there's yeah I got to that dragon four more. and I was like fuck you dragon cuz I couldn't it I couldn't get that down at all and it's very easy well, it was not very easy. For me. Well, I mean, if he touches you, you instantly die. But, um, like, if you have a uh, quick man's weapon, which you will by that point in the game, that uh, that weapon fires shots so fast that it glitches the dragon out, and he won't move. Oh, so it's easy if you, like, cheat. It's not cheating. Yeah, it's in the game. It's in it, the game. It, Mega Man is, like, the... Mega Man's really glitchy. Yeah, it's like the Dark Souls, uh, like origin story, but from Not a video really. game standpoint, <laughs> I, I would argue Dark Souls is more fair than Mega Man most of the time. <laughs> um, but Mega Man has always been really glitchy, and I, that's what I'm kind of realizing as I stream them and kind of talk about them. Is like, like three, I knew was really glitchy. Like I like Mega Man Three, but there's a lot of slowdown. A lot of like weird shit happens in that game because it's just not. They tried to do too much uh, that I don't think the NES was really prepared for, and then and I always thought that was just an oddity of like Mega Man Three. But then playing Four, I'm like, wow, this this is also really fucked up. Um, but they're still great games. They're just, you know, they're a little rough around the edges. Yes. And that's always been my impression of him. Although the one I played on Game Boy, which it might have been. Oh, different. that's ooh, that's a different fucking ball game, dude. Yeah, well, <laughs> the Game Boy, like if it's the classic ones you're talking about, like the original yeah, Game yeah, Boy, those are Boy. fucked up. Those games are not even fucking video games, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I don't remember much because it was like literally when they came out. Um, yeah. Um. But yeah, so I played Fury, um, played more Let It Die. I played the, I got to the first real boss in Let It Die, and I liked that it was a disembodied trucker head on the head of a train, <laughs> and and then okay. and you have to like fight your way up the train, and like then he like hops into a robot suit, and you have to fight that. Um, it's, it's a that game's that game's pretty cool, uh, but I'm getting to the point now where I don't have a lot of its premium currency, so I don't feel comfortable like making progress. 
Um, Because, like, a lot of people will tell you when you play that game, like, the whole idea you have to get over is, like, trying to hold on to shit. Like, your characters are going to die. They're going to go away. They're not always worth saving. But the thing is, like, that premium currency is how you respawn if an enemy kills you. Um, And you respawn immediately. If you don't, you have to go back to the very beginning and do the entire fucking, you know, whatever floors you've done to get back to where you were. Like, you have to get that checkpoint of, like, an elevator or something. Otherwise, like, it's all out the window. And so now that I'm getting kind of low on the premium currency, it's like, well, fuck, I I don't even want to go out and try to make progress. (laughs) Right. Because all I'll do is lose this character that is already leveled up for me and Can shit. You, like earn that currency in any way other than like buying it. They give it to you in like as like login bonuses. You like it, it's they're called death medals, and you you can get like a occasionally you'll get a death medal for just turning on the game. Like you get this rewards box, and you know if they like when they've done maintenance or they fucked something up with the network, they've given people stuff. You know as like apology tokens to it. But it's also a free game, and they want you to buy this shit. Yeah. And I like the game, but I don't know if I'm there yet. Like, I don't know if I, like, it, it feels like shit to say, because I like the game so much, you think, like, well, I'll support the game. But it's like, do I, because I, it's not like, oh, well, I'll spend, you know, 50 bucks, and then I'll be guaranteed to, you know, beat the game. It's all I'm getting is this fucking, these stupid tokens. Right. And if I hit a real, if I hit a brick wall in this game, I'm not going to be. That doesn't guarantee I'm going to beat him. It just means I'm going to have a better shot. Um, you, you know, and I, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm there. And it, it goes back to my original point. Like the worst thing about the game is it's not a game you could just buy, because I feel like this stuff stands in the way of a lot of that. Um, Kind of got into the multiplayer aspect of it last night since I don't have any currency to make like progress in the real game. I started toying around with the multiplayer stuff because I guess I have a fucking target on my back. <laughs> so when I'm not playing the game, people keep raiding my shit. Um, Maybe you just so have I, the best stuff. I, well, no, we all have the same shit. Like it's the same <laughs> money and it's the same stuff that upgrades your base. Um, and and to be fair, when people do that. You don't lose that much stuff. Um, you know, if they take everything, you lose like a few thousand gold. It's fine. You have tens of thousands in your bank. Um, and the stuff that upgrades your thing, like they might take a few hundred, but usually you have a few thousand. Um, so it's never the end of the world, but it, it does suck when you turn on the game and everything around you is on fire, literally <laughs> on fire because somebody raided you. Um and that's just a little fucking nice touch they do to your like waiting room, your your bonfire equivalent. Yeah, right. um, but so so I decided, you know what? Fuck this! I'm tired of getting raided. Um, so you can it will tell you who raided you, and they can take your fighters and stuff. But I don't. The reason I'm getting raided is because I don't have any fucking good fighters defending my stuff. Because um, I don't want to, I don't want to put my good fighters on the line. So, because if they knock them out, they can pick them up and take them back to their base and they become theirs. Um, but so I, but it will tell you who stole from you and immediately give you the option to go get your revenge. <laughs> and I fucking totally did that. Um, if you're not, so get, <laughs> excuse me, if you're not getting revenge, do you pick who you raid or does it just kind of randomly give you somebody's? I, I, uh, I don't know if it's, I think there is like a random list. Where it's like, hey, just if you want to fucking go after any of these people, they're here. Um, but there's also kind of this neat little competitive uh, team aspect to the game where it's like it t- you tell them what state you're in, and then like states in uh, j- different areas, you know, like the UK and stuff, like these little rivalries take place, and it lets you know, like, all right, Washington is feuding with California right now. So go attack people in California or, you know, California might be fucking dealing with England. And so, you know, go attack England's base. And it's not a direct multiplayer thing. Like you're not fighting them when you go raid them, but you're just, you're fighting their defenses that they put up. Um, And you're, you know, it's this weird sort of sabotage sort of 
Like, like it's this fucked up thing where it's like we're all trying to beat this really hard game, but the game is telling us to fight each other. That's like the uh, best way if if you're the super villain and everybody's trying to beat you, the best way to keep them from doing so is to turn them on each other. Yeah, some would say that's what, you know, politics do. Right. A little, little social commentary for oh, Let It Die and Suda. Take that, Washington. Snap. DC, Snap not Washington Ola. State. But yeah, screw you guys over there in Washington State, too. Yeah, Somehow it's a burn against you. Fucking pot. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you know that game's cool, but I, I'm kind of. I, I've already I've already caved and I bought Overwatch loot boxes since the last show, <laughs> and, and so it I'm kind. Like you still haven't gotten crap. Not really. Yeah. Um. I got I got the uh, Roadhog Rudolph outfit. That was nice. Yeah, so I heard there was a lot of people like complaining about it. I'm like, it's not bad. Like, I wouldn't if I didn't get it by the end of the event, I wouldn't have been like crying. Yeah. But I like it. I'm just, I, it, you know, it sucks because I'm at the point where it's like all I want is that Zenyatta Nutcracker <laughs> one, and I can't get it. You got to sing the song. All I want for Christmas I got... is my Nutcracker skin. <laughs> well, and I'm like. I'm, I'm, this is why I'm fucking buying these stupid, useless pieces of shit. It, like, I'm desperate. Like, I either want that or I want the money to buy that. Right. And I'm not getting the money either because all my duplicates are only worth, like, five fucking gold. Yeah, and I'm not to, getting like, any. Decrease that during this and event, I'm, like, suckers. And you can't yeah, just and I'm buy not, a currency, uh, can you? No. And I'm not getting fucking money piles either, really. Like, when I do, I got one last night. It was the most. You know, I you know, I'm not like buying like the fucking goddamn eighty loot box ones and not get anything. But it's like oh, I'll pick up the like it's two bucks. I'll get I'll get a couple of loot boxes here because Steve's not playing, so you know it's not. There's no quick way to group up. No, well, um, I don't. My brother's out of town, so I can't play with him. Um, so you know, it's you, when you when you put the money towards it. I justified it to myself, where it's like I only spent forty dollars on a game, and it's a game I've played all year. So I don't have a you know they have something I want. This is how they make their money on it. I, I can live with myself, you know, buying these stupid things uh, to an extent. Um, but goddamn, I really just wish I could. Even, fuck twenty bucks, give me that goddamn yeah, costume. Like Heroes of the Storm, you could just pick. If you wanted to buy a certain thing, you could spend money to buy, like, a specific... And there were some things, like some skins, which I'm glad they don't do in Overwatch, but uh, some skins that you could only get with, like, real-world money. You couldn't unlock oh. through in-game. I think it was mostly mounts yeah. and stuff, but... But, yeah, yeah. well, the, the best part about it, I really think the game has, like, it's become sentient and has its own, like... It has something against me? Well, sort of. <laughs> it's, it's But it's balanced, because we talked about... I still don't completely understand the the ranking system for ranked um i didn't did not really completely i think i can guess on why but i had two of my ranked match like my placement matches ended in draws one of them i seemed to get at least some credit for because it gave me a yellow instead of like a red like x and, yeah. or a green check mark but the other draw gave me a red x and it's like wait why and that pissed me off because that the first draw that seemed like counted as a loss was a really good game between two like really good teams, um, and it was like no fuckers, and um, was... but then I ended up with a record that really isn't that much off of yours. I only had I had one draw, four wins, and five losses, so it was like half a game away from five hundred, and yeah. you had what six wins and four losses? Yeah. And, like, it ranked me at, like, 1,300, which I didn't think it even went that low. Even last, like, season two when no, I had like, uh, a string of shit games, I never got that low. And when like, I saw you were bronze tier, I was like, well, fuck, I'm going to get I'm gonna get mutilated. Because I took, like, a month oh, off oh, yeah. from and, the game. And I forgot, on top of having the one draw that didn't count and having another draw, I had a third loss that was because a player never joined the game. He like he was in the starting area, but he never left the starting area, and then dropped out. Yeah. My and, last went, somebody left, and, and on the other team, and it, it I, I felt bad for him. Yeah, but I had but, somebody say they had somebody leave, and it didn't count it as a loss for him. And it's like, wait, what? I, I think it's just time of the match when they decide it. You know, like I, that is one thing that Blizzard really needs to like figure like, out. Uh, yeah, well, like they need to figure out, and they need to, like, they need to have a system. Like, 
where like there needs to be like kind of a I think a voter system like in Counter Strike where it's like if somebody leaves you can if your team all mutually agrees you can vote for like a forfeit and it won't affect your rank as much and you will you know you won't be you won't be so punished because well, maybe it gives you it counts as a loss or a draw but you get 11 placement matches instead of 10 or something like it just like because that really fucking sucks that you only get 10 ch- shots to, to make your placement and then one of them that's 10 percent right there is an automatic loss and and i assumed it was like you said like if the guy if the player plays most of the match and then drops it's going to count as a loss this guy literally never like it was the first round it, you know i think we were on offense first and yeah. he dropped well i mean that's what we were on a best of 3 and after we won the first point they uh or no they won the second point and then the guy dropped so it was a 1-1 one, one game so you know I don't it, know, it wasn't but it, so i was i was my point i was extremely pissed about my my placement cuz i thought it was decent i can't say extremely pissed cuz it really doesn't matter other than once you get in that basement ranking, good fucking luck climbing out because yeah, you know that's teamed up with trash, but whatever. Yeah, you know my brother was like, I told him what rank you were at because you're on his uh, Overwatch list. He's like, yeah, I saw you was playing. I was gonna group up with him, but it's kind of glad I didn't. didn't yeah, <laughs> but I, and I mean he's more pissed that I beat him out because yeah, well, he was six three his, and one. Yeah, so his his technically his. Records better than yours. He had yeah. less losses. And but what? But what I? But what I know, sense kind of makes sense. Where they base your your placement matches aren't random. They base them around where you. I don't know if they base it around where you ended up, or where you started last season. Um, but you're still being match made, and they are taking the overall rankings into account. So, so like you're playing against so, better people, so, so it counts. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so like my six four is worth more than his six three Which one because he a was pressing thought at all. Because I just talked about how hard it is to climb out of the basement. And now it's like, oh, good, that'll carry over to every future season. Like unless you can manage to do it. I, I, I think you'll. I think you'll get out of the basement. I'm sure you and me. I did you, last time. I and, and then I, I, I mean, to but, be fair, my brother. He was like he was close to getting back up to gold, and the last couple times he played, he fucking plummeted. Yeah. Um, but anyway, in in exchange for having such shitty placement rounds and and, and whatever, I've like almost you've every gotten time I every the fucking box, yeah. goddamn skin on the it's, planet. My very first one was the Nutcracker one, which is the best one, even though I don't play him much anymore. And that's bullshit. I play him all the time. Yeah. And then I got. <laughs> um, Another legendary Christmas one, which I've lost track. Oh, the Yeti, uh, Winston. And yeah, I've got Roadhogs. I got Tracers the other day. I think that's the only one, but that's You know four. what I that's you know what I fucking got? I got a fucking legendary emote. <laughs> I didn't even know those fucking existed. I didn't either. I you, thought they were all purple. You know how fucking mad I was? When you see a yellow come out of the box and it's that's goddamn like, Zarya open up in a Stupid fucking box. Oh, that one. Yeah, and that's a dumb emote too. I hate that one. I don't. I don't hate the emote, but it's not like well, this is I, not a rare item. Well, like, and what I hate about it is that it's like even the Christmas skins a little bit, but with that emote, it's like in the middle of July. Am I really gonna want my emote to be opening Christmas presents? Like. This has a I, well, I mean, you change it. Well, sure. You, you know, I, I, like my guy's yeah, not gonna be I mean. fucking it's, it's Rudolph. Like, in January. <laughs> oh, mine will be. No, I like my uh, tiki Roadhog anyway. But I've I've got a ton of skins for Roadhog. I just need like the shark one. Um, no. So anyway, so like you get screwed over with loot, but get good placement. I got screwed over with placement, but got good loot. Um, but I but I I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that phrasing because I earned my placement, not I by being my good. Loot. I know you didn't. By playing Shut a up. bunch. <laughs> Fuck you. It's random. It's no, the it's definition. You, it, it measures how good you click the box to open it. Like if you click it just right. I click the box better than anyone. <laughs> quote, quote that on the back. Um, I wish my camera was zoomed out enough to do the Trump hands as, as you said. <laughs> that. Um, my, my box clicking is great. I've got you're the gonna love it. Box, box clipping. Yeah. You're going to love it. I'm going to be the best at it. Um, <laughs> 
but yeah, like so, like so far, yeah, like I, I don't. I think it ends January second. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, but for me, it will. I don't know. It, it might end around Christmas because I know you know I'm gonna get some game for fucking the holidays, if not more. Um, but you, you know, I, that game until after the second, like a true dedicated Overwatch player. Maybe, or I might say, "Fuck, we actually need to do game of the year content this year." I've got three, um, three of those, and that's about all I played. So, they all yeah. are game of the year, um, right? But no, yeah. So I've been playing a lot more, a lot of Overwatch. I did uh, finally because I talked about Batman: The Telltale series last week, but episode five hadn't come out yet. Actually, it had just come out, but I hadn't had a chance to play it. Mm-hmm. I did finish it up, and from both the story perspective and, like, my big gripe with the game was that it runs like shit, and Episode five ran fairly well, other than it started me off, and you remember, you've played through a couple of the Telltale things, every uh, episode that you start does that, like, last time in Batman, and it, just to, like... I think part of it is just to make you feel like your decisions meant more than they actually do in those games because they can go back and be mm-hmm. like, you chose to do this last episode. Uh, but it froze twice for like two minutes at a time. And just in that intro where there's no input or anything, it's just like, Batman, are, are you going to save him? And I'm like sitting there. I literally flipped over to like Twitter. I was watching TV. Normally, I'd just get pissed and close the game, but I'm like... But now it's like, I'm done. used to this yeah. shit. And it kept going. So that set a bad tone. I'm like, man, we're really in trouble. And that was really the only trouble I had with episode five. Like, everything else ran pretty smooth. <laughs> everything, everything it referred to the old episodes that ran like shit. shit. Yeah. Um, the story itself ended up being pretty good, but, I mean, it's it, it's just one of those games that I have a hard time, like, really recommending... Um, it wouldn't, if somebody said, oh, I'm going to buy this, uh, or I got it for Christmas, I wouldn't be like, oh no, don't play that. Like, it's not terrible. Yeah. But I, I just like, you know, a lot of people are making a big deal about this new, like walking dead season they put out. And I'm like, the last thing I want to do now is play another telltale game. Honestly. Yeah. Well, the, huh. the cool part about it is it's Batman. I don't like superhero stuff, but Batman's one of the like exceptions to that. Um, I don't know. It, it's interesting, but I, I really talked about everything last week. It ends well. I liked it. The story is good. But I can't, you know, what more can I say without, like, giving away the story, which I don't want to do. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Like, I appreciate the fact that they sent the code over randomly. Like, <laughs> and again, not to, like, oh, because we're something. But they, like, blasted it out. There was, like, a million people on Twitter. Like, if you're on their press list, they're just... That's how, like, desperate they were to get the word out about Episode 5, is it's just like, well, fuck, here's, like, 4,000 keys we're just going to send out into the void and hope people talk about it, and so I am. Um, but, <laughs> but again, I'm not saying run out and buy it. Like, if you like Batman and you like Telltale games, you probably will think it's okay. Yeah. But, I mean, who knows? We got the Steam sale coming up. I know. That's why, oh, that... I guess that's the third thing that I almost forgot I played because I played it like once and it was like, nope. Um, Warhammer 440K Deathwing. It's like a third-person shooter set in the Warhammer universe. Um, I don't know. I, I That's one of those properties that every time they announce a new Warhammer game, I get myself like irrationally excited about because I just love like that. I love the the world itself like it's such a cool fantasy like mm-hmm. especially the 40k like the space marines and the the orcs and stuff like i i think that's cool and then they're like oh here's a like gritty looking shooter and you're like oh cool um it's, it, basically it's draw is that it's like um a third person shooter but kind of that like left for dead idea where you can like team up with three or four people um co-op it and you're uh Inquisitors are basically, or I don't know, I'm probably using the wrong terms. I say I love this stuff, but I'm I'm far from like an expert in Warhammer lore. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you're these space marines, and you're going through these derelict um, ships. Uh, you know, you're investigating whatever, and of course it's overrun by whatever, and you shoot shit. But it ran so bad, and it was so bland. Like it would just be like, here's a hundred aliens running at you. You can't even see what's going on. Just fire at them. 
Uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing a lot of here. I'm reading the Steam page now, and it's yeah. a lot of people saying it's fucking broke. Well, they, it would stutter really bad. I, the loading times were terrible. It was just boring even when it was working. But the big draw would be like, well, but you can play it multiplayer. And a lot of times that, I won't say fixes things, but it makes things a lot more fun, even when they shouldn't really be many more fun. But the matchmaking's like broken. You can't always get joined up or you get dropped and you can wait like up to 10 minutes to find a match. And it's like, no. Um, so it's the first time I think ever that I use the Steam refund policy. Um, and I could have got my money like back back, but I, it, it, one of the good things was it was only like 30, it was 33 bucks on the launch sale. So it wasn't mm -hmm. super, super expensive. And I'm like, Steam sale's coming up in a week anyway. Just put it in my wallet because that money will be respent. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then what's funny is this whole like week I've been getting an item on your wish list on sale. Do you want to buy it? And it's like, no, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, like, don't, everything don't is going I'm... to be on sale in two days. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get emails all the time for that. Like, an item on your wish list is on sale. And it's like, fucking fuck you. I'm not... You know, it's going to be, it's going to be <laughs> yeah. Days. It's either going to be on the exact same sale, or it's going to be better. Or something you know? that's on my wish list that I want more than this thing on my wish list will be on sale. Like, yeah. you know, I've gotten burned like so many fucking times this year buying something and then it goes on sale immediately. But it, well, the one thing I'm not going to be is played a fool by fucking Steam. All right. Not when everybody I, knows that the sale. It's funny because they try to keep the dates under wraps. I don't know if they officially announced the dates, but no, um, I think PayPal or something leaked it out. Um, well, uh, there was or a confirmed date. There was a um, some kind of like ad or flyer or text thing that leaked out before the autumn sale, but it listed both the autumn and the winter sale dates. And I know there might be other stuff since then that's that's like corroborated it, but I know the autumn sale dates ended up being right. Yeah. So I don't like. Uh, I mean, I I guess I understand from a business standpoint they don't want people, you know, well, fucking not buying waiting, stuff. waiting, okay, yeah, right. waiting for shit to, but. They're kind of already there because anyone who's on Steam knows there's going to be that winter sale. There's going to be that Black Friday sale. Um, you know, like, yeah, I'm not, even if I didn't know the dates specifically, I know there's one coming up. Yeah, so well, I'm not even if they didn't do a winter there. one, then I'm going to hold out for the spring one or the summer. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. And if you didn't do a winter one, what the fuck is wrong with you? Right. <laughs> it is weird that they're not doing it until, well, I. I think they're doing it like right before Christmas, but I get it because they probably wanted people that are buying games as Christmas presents to like pay full price first. Yeah, they, they wanted to get that shit done. Like I think they're doing it at just the right time. Yeah. Um, I'm a little surprised they didn't just wait till like after Christmas and call it like their New Year's sale. That way, you'd get people that asked for like Steam gift cards and stuff. You know, Steam right. would be making the exact same amount of money. It's just yeah. people would be getting more for their twenty five dollar. Or fifty dollar, however much people love you, dollar. But uh, all I all I want for Christmas are fucking loot boxes. Apparently, <laughs> can't buy those on Steam sale. Yeah, well, that's that's the fault of Blizzard and Steam. Mm -hmm. I hold them both responsible. Bastages. <laughs> but yeah, Overwatch is only thirty bucks right now. Um, well, and I thought they, it's probably over now, but I th think they did another free weekend last weekend, so you could, like, try it out, um, which is probably You don't need, to, you don't need like, to try it out, just play it. Well, it's a lot that's of fun. probably what my real problem was. I did my placement matches over the weekend, and I was probably playing with a bunch of people <laughs> that never fucking played the game before. Should no, I, like it. Like, I'm, I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to stick to it, but I'm trying to establish a rule of not playing competitive on the weekend. Because the weekend crowd, I just don't trust them. They're fucking insane. It, it was a lot better playing like early Saturday morning because those are like the dedicated people. <laughs> God, can you imagine like fucking the post Christmas rush of fucking goddamn? Uh, sigh. I don't want to. Like, I, I, I am part of the goddamn toxic community, honestly, because I, be I look down I, like, on fucking people. Said things to people like in game, but I rarely yeah. do. But I, yeah, I don't. I think it. I, yeah, I'm just as bad as all the trolls, like up here in my brain. But I just keep it to myself. Yeah, 
I, you know, I, cause I know I'm, I'm hell. I'm, I have like 80 something hours in the game and I know I've shit the bed, you know, with a lot more experience under my belt. So I don't feel like jumping down anybody's throat ever, but you know, I'm in my head. I'm like, Oh fuck. This guy's, fucking stupid yeah i and mean it, the ways to get to me if you really want to piss me off in overwatch or to do things like you've already got two offensive heroes then you pick genji and bitch that somebody needs to be a healer um yeah that kind of and that's usually off. somebody with some experience but they suck at genji the, like yeah and that's one of the things I've learned to like, I don't complain right away. Like the other day we had somebody pick Hanzo on offense. And of course somebody on my team was like, Hanzo, blah, blah, blah. And that Hanzo fucking kicked ass. And it's like, see, yeah. that's why yeah, you sometimes wait and see. But when that player picks a stupid pick and then does shit with it and then bitches that other people aren't making the right picks. Yeah. Know, that, that's a like last thing. night, last night I played a competitive game and uh, like the guy was like, we need a Reinhardt. And which is the fucking common thing. And I'm just like, and everybody like the guys playing tanks were like, well, I'm kind of a shit Reinhardt. And I was like, well, I'll do it. But really, if you guys want to have a tank in mind, just play your tank. Like it's yeah, where, well, that was it, another one of mine. Like it's there, fine. There was one guy and in his credit. He was going, we needed a tank and he hadn't picked yet. And so he picked a tank and, um, but he was like, man, I can't really play tank. Uh, offensive heroes are the only things I know. And I was like, Mike, I'll tank because I can do it. But mm. if you want, really, if you want to play Overwatch, you don't want to be in a position where, like, I only know this one class. It's like, fucking learn the other classes. Yeah. You know, it, and it like... wasn't ranked. It would be one thing if it was ranked. And it's, then I get that. It's like, we want to do the best. This is what I'm best at. Let's, you know, I get that. But I mean, if you're in quick play, that's the time to, like, you know, work on guys, right. you know, it's, yeah, well, that's I mean, why I'm at a posi- I, I, if you're I, just I, hopeless I, with something then, and you want to win, then you're like, yeah, I, I get like, well, I'm, but if you're like, you should have put some time into the training room with a tank just to like know how they work. And then like, you only get better if you practice right. it. Well, that's what I had a uh, customer the other day. I found out I play overwatch and he's been playing it for the last couple months. And he's like, Oh, what character do you play? I'm like, it, I don't really <laughs> fucking all of them, yeah, dude. Right. <laughs> just like, um, what do you? What do we need? And I mean, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that question, but it, that kind of epitomizes how a lot of my teammates are when we're in game. Yeah. It's like, well, I play Junkrat, and that's it. And it's like, well, that's not very versatile. Well, you're, well, you're fucking me up. Right. <laughs> you, need to, you need to be able to play. Like, you need to be really versatile, especially in that game. when they have this. Uh, attitude that your whole their whole team should just change what they're doing to suit the one play style that they know yeah it's like, uh, yeah but, uh, in that game i played last night i was zenyatta for both rounds and we we won uh they kind of they kind of fucked us up near the end but we held them off um but i felt really good that like i had a golden healing as zenyatta when we had an Anna on our team <laughs> um well, yeah i mean and then and I was the only team who got like one of those prop cards. So, so I've props I mean, on not having a nutcracker skin, bitch. That's what it literally yeah, said. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but, you're going to be one of the best gold rank Overwatch players in the middle, <laughs> but you'll never get the skin you want. Yeah, you'll just have to use one of those like lame, like slightly different color regular skins. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. It's a you know if I don't if I don't get that goddamn nutcracker skin I might never play it again. That's <laughs> pissing me off. Give you my even though it's the coolest skin. It's like I really don't play him often, but uh, yeah. you can't you can't give people your stuff. So darn. Yeah. I'm gonna play as him every time we play together now too, just to rub it in. Like, but <laughs> now I was That's... getting really like the other night when you were dicking around with Fury and playing that stupid game instead of Overwatch. So I was trying to get my. Uh, because the new arcade mode, you know, unlocked this week. And I've got one of the crates out of the three that you can earn. But I could not fucking get wins. I'd do mystery mode. Um, I got all of mine, like, immediately. Um, like, I got all those bonus loot crates. Like, I I win mystery heroes a lot, so. We don't. We don't. And I seem to, like, always get stuck. Like, oh, you're going to be offense mystery hero. Defense is way easier on mystery heroes, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm always stuck on offense with, like, Two Anas and a Hanzo, 
And it's like the thing that fucks up offensive mystery heroes is like people get someone they're uncomfortable with, so they forget the basic rule of Overwatch, which is if you're not on the point, you're you're already failing. And I had so many times when I would go like I'd either have like three or four of the other team like chasing me away from the point because I'd go jump on it and like distract them. Or I'd take out two or three of them, and then I'd die, and then I'd look, and all my teams like fucking around by the choke point, like because they're afraid to go in. And it's like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I mean, and there are times with mystery heroes where you just get fucking locked up. Yeah, um, I mean, and sometimes you know. it's bad picks, and sometimes the other team just gets a good comp. And I mean, yeah, I mean, we had a match. We had a match where like no shit, five of us were mercy. Right, and, it's like, and so and and what, like me and like two of the other guys were like, well, let's go jump in this pit and get right. a new fucking character, but the other two, Mercy's just like, yeah, oh, whatever, we'll go with it, That's which is what the boat's that, for. Like, I thought of that like the other day, like you know what, when you get these like, oh, I got Torb in this like situation that he's worthless, just kill yourself. But in the heat of the moment, I never think that because I always think. This is I never I never throw out like somebody with like offensive capability. You know, I can you know, I'll torb on attack. You know, like I've made it work in that mode. Um Especially, you know, fuck, I've, I've made I it work like in about, other modes, but. but that's what I like about that mode is sometimes you get a torb or a bastion even in a situation where it traditionally would be terrible, but the other team can't they can't specifically pick against it. So sometimes it turns out to be like yeah. really uh, especially Bastion, because if they can't pick somebody that um, like Farah or something that can counter it. it yeah, it doesn't matter if you're you're not supposed to be picked. You know, in that situation, you you mow everybody down. Um, so I don't know. I like mystery mode, but it they last longer. Each game takes a lot longer. So I was like, well, I'm, fuck it, I'll switch over to that stupid ass snowball mode because they go quick. But ah, uh, that mode, I'm I'm terrible at it for one. Um, but the only thing I think if you're good at it, everybody, you're... yeah, there's like. A handful of really good people, and most people suck at it. Um, yeah. But we just kept losing over and over and over again. I'm like, well, this isn't helping me get my stupid crates. So. Yeah. But at least you also get. Just play ex- with me. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't. You were playing your stupid fury. It, but not every fucking night. No. Uh, it took, it took me two night. two days to beat that game. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. so lots of Overwatch, and of course. Um, the, what time do you? We're we're at about an hour. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering if we if we wanted to do it on the show. Like I don't know what we're doing for game of the year this year. No, I was I I wasn't joking a, a little bit ago when I talked. I looked through my lists, and of what I've played, most of it's not from 2016. And then nice the, job. I I have <laughs> enough to like rank the 2016 games that I've played. But it literally turns out to, like, three that I would nominate for, like, Game of the Year, like, deliberations because they're all, like, yeah. they all have those qualities. And then the rest I would put in a list of don't play this fucking game because it sucked. Like, there wasn't a whole lot of middle ground for me. Um, 18, 19, 20, just like 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I played 30 games this year mm-hmm. from this year. From this year? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, well, fuck it. Maybe just like next week's show, we'll just have a we, one game of the year. Well, we could just kind of do a year in review, talk about what we've played and if we liked it or not, that kind of thing. And then do a game yeah. of the year. Cause that one, yeah. that one would be interesting. And yeah. I, I don't even mind giving away like a sport. Cause it's really no secret. If you followed us, what three games I'm going to say, and that's overwatch, dark souls three and doom. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but if we want to debate those, and then you, of course, yeah. you may have other stuff to add to that for game of the year talks. Right. But, like all three of those games, like I said, I could it, we could do this like a debate club, and I just randomly pick out of a hat, and I could put together a strong argument for any of those games. Um, Maybe, but I, I, I think <laughs> you and me also might be might be on different fences of like, well, like we might already have opinions. Time. Yeah. I've, and that's something I do need to do is out of, like I said, out of those three, I, I don't know which one I'm leaning towards. So there'll be that. We can talk about that. But I think that'd be good for next uh, next week is to just kind of do a year in review, talk about what. Yeah, and I know you like yeah. to put together because um, you play more stuff than I do. Um, 
you know, if you want to like do honorable mentions for certain things, like oh, this game had a really good soundtrack or whatever. Yeah, I got I got shit like all set up for me. So we could do something like that. That would probably be the best way to go since we kind of fell off like the typical coverage map. Um, and then like one just doing one big game of the year. That's probably all we need to do, honestly. <laughs> You know, and, and I'll work then, on my drum roll sound. But yeah, you'll get you'll get there. Um, you're drunk. Um, <laughs> I wish. That's the problem this week is I don't have any booze. Yeah, I, I need to get some. Mm-hmm. I need to be I need to be good and thoroughly trashed for Christmas morning. Like if the Blue Jackets having the best winning percentage in the NHL, the Indians making it to uh, to like <clears throat> a run away from being World Series championships. Uh, if any of that like doesn't scream apocalypse, what screams apocalypse is tonight after work before the podcast. Instead of going and buying booze, I went and got a gym membership. So Ugh. I got one of those. I just, the fuck, I got. They gave me like a little fucking card and shit. Yeah, yeah. And I no, no, I, I didn't go more than twice. Um, well, this is actually. I say it's actually why you know YMCA membership, which I've had. It was funny because when they put it, you know, they went to sign us up. They're like, have you been here before? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, were you at so-and-so address? I'm like, well, that's my old address. And it's like, there was. You owe us so much money. money. No, no. I, I was expecting them to, like, throw down a red carpet because I had a membership through them for about five years. And I think I went twice. I just let it keep on. <laughs> and like, I just kept paying them. Yeah. And it was one of those, like. I knew I wasn't using it, but the Y is one of those organizations that does a lot of stuff for kids and stuff. So I, at the time, I was like, I'm okay paying them. It's basically a donation. And then it got to a point where I'm like, financially, I'm like, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. But this time we want to actually use it to get in shape. But Yeah. I, I, like, I was running on the treadmill. Uh, like I just sort of started getting back into working out. And then I got a blister on my heel. And then I just like... I was like, that fucking hurt a lot. I'm so I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not doing that until next time I like decide I hate how disgustingly flabby I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I, but it, it worked. You know, the time I was doing it, I felt better. Uh, I'll probably get back to it. It's just once you get into like the thick of the holidays, that's when you shit starts getting crazy. Like so far, so in so much as like the food you're eating is really bad for you and it also makes you like lazier yeah, yeah. Um, well and the like lack of daylight makes you lazier and the fact yeah. that it's fucking cold outside makes you lazier because you're like i don't want to yeah. go anywhere yeah um, fucking it just, man, i want to hibernate the winter is the it's, earth conspiring against you to see if you can like stick it out another year if you're just gonna call it quits i mean humans weren't supposed to be here where we are um i, I thoroughly believe that because <laughs> I, I don't feel I like I, I think society should just shut down until the snow goes away. Yeah, yeah grizzly tactics. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anything so, else going on? Uh, I, I read a thing that the Nintendo Switch will not be as powerful as a PS4. Um, that could be true. Do I mean a regular PS4 or a PS4 Pro? Uh, from what I read, it just said PS4. Um, I think that would be a big fucking mistake on Nintendo's part. Well, but it depends on what they mean. Like, is it like technically not as powerful, but you, you got to look at how they're measuring those things too. I sometimes sure, you can do more, but but, less, I, but I but I mean in general terms. And the the thing that should have highlighted that a little bit is when like with the thing they're advertising is Skyrim, you know, <laughs> like when that's like look at this shit we're fucking building for this thing, like it's it's a little troubling to me. Well, like not yeah. not that it needs to be better than any of that shit, but there should be like a like a rough on par. It, it's got to be at least close because that was what killed the Wii. Well, was well, one of the many many. Things it didn't kill. Uh, I mean. Well, when it when a developer has to put in a shitload of time, like pairing stuff out of their game to get it to run on a system because it can't, yeah. you know that that's a problem because that that makes the cost to develop just not worth it. Yeah, um, and, and the and part of the problem is like it's not 
like these more powerful systems are getting easier and easier to develop for. So it's like, why would we take a weaker system? And we're like, we kind of, you know, you kind of saw that happen with the Wii U in terms of ukulele when they announced like they're not going to be able to, you know, bring it to that like they had originally promised. Um, you know, that that sucks. And you could tell the developers didn't want to have to do that, but it was just Nintendo's hardware was building. Okay. Like, yeah. it, didn't, it, it didn't leave them any room. Um, so I, I, I find that a little troubling. It's like not... I'm worried that the the thing I'm worried about with the Switch is that they're trying to capture like the Wii magic in the bottle again, and I don't think you can do that, like because no, that I mean, was you need such to a at least use a jug like a bottle. You're a dumbass. I hate you. <laughs> I hate talking to you, and I can't wait for the show to blow up. Um, <laughs> I think it's done that a long time ago, but you're right. Um, but uh, yeah, I just I don't think you can get that success again because that was such a novelty success. Like you got the casual gamer market with that. Well, and we uh, talked about that. A lot of the people, like my parents, bought a Wii, but they're the kind of people that like, wow, you you made something special that got people like them to buy a game console. Like I would have never thought right. they would buy, it. but just the sheer fact that they bought a game console means that they are not going to buy another one because to them. You know, All right, like, we got the game console. Right. Um, so it makes it real, real hard to, to copy that. Um, right. But I don't know. I mean, and, and we say that, but if they can come up with something, they I just to don't think a, like a, a, a reason for people to do it. But I don't think where they're going with the switch is going to get that demographic. No, and and I read a thing saying like when it's not docked it runs significantly worse. Like, it's a weaker system, which it obviously was going to be. But, like, I read something like it was, like, 60% uh, slower of a system, which I, I don't know specifically what that means, but, See, but I didn't read the whole article. I kind of just assumed that all the hardware would be in the, the, dock, the, thing. the tablet, and then the dock. Apparently really the dock just... helps it. Yeah, so I mean, that, these are things I read. I, I don't know if they were official words from Nintendo. Um, it just, you know, I'm I'm excited about that system, but I, I'm also Nintendo always makes me uncomfortable with these things, and I think there's room to be <laughs> concerned as well. Because um, if their business plan is like, let's make another Wii, you're you're fucking insane. Um, because, like you said, that's an audience you're never going to get again. Uh, I mean, you'll not, you'll probably you'll get, get them down the road, but well, and you'll get ones here and there. But wholesale, no, you're not. Yeah, like and the, you know, and there isn't like there isn't that control scheme to appeal to them anymore. Um, you well, know, like if they could make it run Pokemon Go, that would bam. <laughs> My parents are so like. They're into Pokemon. Idea. They don't play it, but they think it's like a, such a cool, like, oh, it gets kids out. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of the point. But, like, so does playing basketball. <laughs> like, yeah. Eh. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I I won't knock Pokemon Go. I played enough of it this year that I, I would be a hypocrite. But, but it's also these are very limited concepts that, like, hey, you know, you could put it on the Switch, but how the fuck would that really work? You just have it on your tablet, like it's easier well, on your it phone. It wouldn't work because it's not. I, as far as I know, there's no GPS on the Switch, which is kind of integral yeah. to that game. Yeah, but uh, and I mean, like, and you know, I'm not entirely sold on the whole portable aspect of those anyway. Like, yeah, I, I think it will appeal to some people, but for me, that's my dog's fucking snap. I Jesus. Know, um, I hate them so much. Um, but just like you know, I'm not gonna take my switch anywhere. That fucking thing is always going to be docked when I get one. Well, yeah, and part of that is it's probably gonna be like two or three hundred dollars for the just the tablet or more. It's like, yeah, I'm not. I mean, I guess a 3ds is 
about that, but it just feels like it's too much technology to take out and risk like. <laughs> yeah, I don't take my 3D. I don't take a 3DS anywhere. I always play that at home, and that's another like kind of. I like the 3DS, but I don't use it the way they intended. <laughs> no, and I get it. if I had like a long like public commute, like, I was on a train yeah. for an hour a day each way then then i'd use it like that but yeah i mean my brother's it's my brother's 3ds i just steal it from him when i want to but like he's you know he's moving to seattle and he'll have a pretty big commute when he does and like you know so for an hour train ride i could see why you'd bring your 3ds with you you know he flew over there a couple of days ago and like, I can see bringing it on a plane flight and stuff. But just, in, like, for me, like, I don't go anywhere that demands, like, oh, I need something to do like that. I, You know, I can play, if I'm on the bus, I can play, you know, some shit on my phone. And, yeah. So, Nintendo. Fucking, fuck, you're fucked up. You're weird. Do, 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 do. My brother but, keeps trying to get me. He's so, like, excited about um, Mario... Mario, Mario Run Go or Mario Run? Yeah, that's Super Mario Run. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, Mario runs about jumping, and then like Sonic Jump is about running. Or, Sonic, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, uh, but, but anyway, yeah, he's he's really liking it. But uh, I have not played that because it's not on the Android market yet. I, didn't I watched the giant bomb but guys a, play it. But. I, I didn't realize it was going to have like a free to play mode. Like I thought it, you it was going to be a you had to pay. And I thought at one point I heard it was going to be 20 bucks, And I was like, yeah, that won't get purchased by me. Um, hmm. But that's not what it is at all. You can play for free. You do have to purchase, like, additional levels or something. Um, but it's not for – I think you can, like, unlock the whole thing for, like, 10 bucks. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I watched the Giant Bomb guys play it, and it's, like – it doesn't seem like something for me, really, because it just – like Mario is all about to me Mario is all about control and how like those games feel and to do kind of an auto runner like that and like just control when you jump like that, that just I understand why you have to do it for a mobile game but like at the same time I don't have to <laughs> play it so it kind of fits but it's even better because I found out like because I played it a little bit on his phone like literally for like 30 seconds but if it, if you're like running and there's like just a single block like step up, you don't have to jump. It'll just automatically step up it. And if there's like a Goomba, you don't have to jump on top of it. Like the time you jump, you can just run into it and he'll jump on it for you. It's like wait a minute, now you're just taking then, like everything away. But yeah, like my question then would be like, why are those things there then? Well, if it's not something I have to navigate, jump on them, then you can like string together combos or whatever, or get more coins. But like. It really surprised me that you can just run into a Goomba and be like, that's cool. Because that's yeah. anti, like, everything Mario's always been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can tell you're excited by this conversation as much as I am. Yeah, it's like once we're in the moon talking about fucking mobile games. Um, but yeah, we should be we should be back next week. Should be. That. If we should survive be. the holidays, yeah. that's always a big yeah. if. Yeah. Um, but if you if you do make it through, uh, there will be another <laughs> joystick podcast on the other side. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, you, you hear about the light at the end of the tunnel. This is the opposite of that. Yeah, it's 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 downhill, folks. Um, so so yeah. I hope Santa kills you. We'll, we'll um, probably both be like still in our food comas and hungover yeah. and or currently drunk. We're fucking pissed at Overwatch. Yeah. Broke and pissed at Overwatch. Um, yeah, I mean, I've set you up for the, like, the most frustrating because now if we team up to play ranked, it's one of those deals where if we win, I gain a whole bunch because I'm in a, you know, skill set like a... Yeah, class uh, and I'll up. fucking plummet. Right, if you if yeah. we lose, you plummet, but... Yeah, you know, I, you may, I might have to wait on you. I, I know, oh. kind of, that, that was like the biggest thing when I saw that. I'm like, I don't know if I want to like do that to Ben. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll, we'll play arcade and shit. You know, like the group bonus you get is pretty significant. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to play competitive to, you know, get your rewards and stuff. But uh, yeah. but I might wait until you're silver <laughs> again. To... But we might have to stream some more Overwatch. Maybe not, not, not for our podcast, but just random Overwatch streams. Yeah. They're fine. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, and it, and it, it it gets us on the same playing the game at the same goddamn time. Right. Um, Plus, we can make fun of our like teammates and the opponents and all that stuff. We're, yeah, not coordinate shit. That was why my competitive matches went so well because I was I I won the first one I took in my placements, and then I lost like four straight. And then I got on a team where we were all good, and like that group up feature, when you is really cool when you get that. And that's one of the things that is, I love that they added to your placement matches that you can do them grouped because I almost a hundred percent sure last time you couldn't. Yeah, uh, I just really, really wish I would have figured that out before I did my <laughs> placement matches. Yeah. It was literally like my last placement match. I noticed that like three people on my team and three on the other team were grouped up. I'm like, oh, oh shit. Yeah, like I, and it got to a really cool spot that like I haven't really experienced because my only time teaming up it's with like you or my brother. Um, but when you get like a, almost an entire team like that, and you've won a couple, so now the whole team atmosphere is like we know we can win, like we know how to work together. So it's like that toxicity and shit is just gone. Yeah. And and so it's like, well, that didn't work. Let's change this. And everybody is like talking to each other and kind of working together. And you like, even for just, you know, it was only, you know, five matches. And then I it was like, all right, I got my placement. I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for teaming up, guys. Like, even just for that, like, it's really cool to like finally get that taste of like, you know, what, you know, more hardcore Overwatch players get all the time because they're constantly playing with the same people. Like, just having that coordination and communication is really cool and to have an easy feature like that to get to it is a lot better than like trying to find people on reddit or some shit the only thing i hate is if you click the like keep group whoever clicks it will it'll group up like your whole team doesn't have to at first i thought it's like oh if all six people do it it'll keep you yeah yeah, set set up the team but instead it puts you in in a group but i always get stuck as the leader and then i'm like like nope nope i'm not equipped to lead random people yeah i don't know how they do it if it's like the is it the first to click it and like i think so i'm never the first i will never put that assumption on no, a stranger i'll I never make them work always was happening to me is like i wouldn't be the first to click it but whoever was would like immediately like just pawn it off on somebody else because they're like yeah. me i'm like i don't want this so I, even me and you do that when it's just the two of us. It's like, I don't want to be the one in control here. <laughs> right. But uh, um, anyway. Yeah. So yeah, Overwatch. So um, Overwatch is cool. Um, we'll talk about a lot more games next week because so we got the whole year to talk about. Yeah. I, me, I, like got, I got games. 30 of them. Got 30. <laughs> so, yeah, see you then. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>